bands, Chris McPherson, Fran Duffy, pleased to be joined on the phone by the head coach at South Dakota State who guided Dallas Goddard and turned him into a second round pick. John Stiglmeyer, coach, congratulations on producing a second round draft pick here. The first thing I want to ask you is, how did he land at your program? I, I, I read a story about a pastor reached out to you on the phone and that kind of laid the groundwork for getting him to you? Yeah, a guy named uh, Pastor Carl Larson had coached with us uh, a number of years ago, and he saw Dallas play in high school. Uh, we didn't know anything about Dallas, and uh, he got us uh, his name, and we contacted Britain High School and got some film, and then I watched him play basketball, and it kind of started up that way. Coach, talk about the development you've seen from him over the course of his career. Because I, I can tell you, just from watching him from day one from his junior season up until the end of this past year, you could see just how far he's come in certain areas, areas of his game. Can you just talk about how you've seen him develop over the course of his career? Well, it's been phenomenal. His, his work ethic uh, has been off the charts. Um, obviously, he's gifted genetically, but uh, there's so much more. Uh, you know, his, his, his focus, his, his uh, goals, and, and I think one of the top things in him is, is belief in himself. And so, uh, you know, it, all the credit goes to Dallas Goddard. He has been a phenomenal hard worker, great leader for us. Coach, along those same lines, what kind of person? We, we've seen the numbers, we've seen the production that he had at the F FCS level. What kind of person is the Philadelphia Eagles getting here in Dallas Goddard? You're getting a guy that's confident, uh, but not uh, not uh, real. Uh, you're getting a guy that uh, will stop and, and, and talk to a little person if they ask. Uh, you know, he, he's uh, he's in our program. When they get done with the game, we go in the locker room, we say a prayer, we talk a little bit. Our players go out. He'll stand on the field and sign autographs, at least in our program, and talk to kids and take pictures uh, until they turn off the lights. So he's he's a he's a great person. Uh, uh, just a uh, just a leader in every way. Coach Dallas was a two-time All-American at the FCS level. He was a two-time finalist for the Walter Payton Award. What is it that set himself apart from some of the other players at his position across that level of competition on the field as you've watched him reach uh, his full maturity now as a senior? Well, I, I would say two things. His athletic ability for his size, I think, is is special. Uh, and you, you recognize that, obviously, by drafting him. And then his hands are, are, are phenomenal. And, uh, I mean, I wish I could have played quarterback with him at tight end. You just get it close to him, and he, he would catch the ball. So, uh, And then, uh, you know, his confidence. I mean, he wanted the ball. He wanted to be moved around. We played him in so many different positions, and he just kept eating it up and, and, and uh, helping us win football games. Coach, I'm going to kind of put you on the spot here. Do you have a favorite Dallas Goddard story, whether it's something along the lines of, in a key moment in a game that he demanded the ball, sort of what you just alluded to, or something behind the scenes that just kind of emphasizes the type of person that he is? Uh, well, I guess one, he was voted captain this year, and we, I sat down with the six captains. And, uh, you know, in FCS football, if, you, if you're a top eight seed, uh, you get a bye in the first round. And I, I presented to the, to the captains, that that should be one of our goals, top eight seed. And he looked at me and he says, Coach, I think you're wrong. And, you know, with all the respect in the world, he said, I think we got to put down on paper top two seed. And that's the, you know, it wasn't with arrogance. It wasn't with uh, with uh, not being able to back it up. But, but uh, you know, that's the way he plays. He plays like a champion. So if you literally end up being a top two seed, they're predicting you're going to get to Frisco, Texas, and play in the championship. Coach, let's dive into the X's and O's a little bit. You know, from a football coaching perspective, and you have a player like Dallas Goddard, you pair him with a player like Zach Ertz, one of the best tight ends in the NFL. What kind of flexibility does that give Doug Peterson and this offensive coaching staff to be able to utilize 12 personnel? And what can that do, those two tight end sets, against defenses on a weekly basis? Ideally, you can line up and, and, and be a little bit smash mouth because you got two tight ends, move them around run, play, action, pass. Uh, and I still think that's the best play in football is play, action, pass. You can run the football and then, and then, and then just uh, uh, get, them, get mismatches out in space. So, um, and the other thing about Dallas, and I don't know anything about NFL playbooks, but we asked a lot of Dallas Goddard in terms of plays and motions and formations, and, and he, he seldom made a mental error. So he's very smart football-wise. 
Coach, what's it like for the FCS seeing Carson Wentz be a number two overall selection and play at an MVP type level this season? And now Dallas Goddard follows a couple of years later and is a second round pick of the Eagles. Well, I think there's good football players at every level. I, I, I cut my teeth in NAIA and, and uh, do coach division two. And so uh, we don't have as many as FBS guys, but there's guys that, I mean, we preach pr pursue your dream and, uh, uh, that's the ultimate for any FCS guy to have what happened to what happened to uh, uh, Carson and what's happened to Dallas. Uh, you know, every year we boast about the, the number of FCS teams, FCS teams win uh, games they win, and so it just uh, it, it's a good, it's a great level of football. We'll leave it at that. Sigelmeyer, head coach of South Dakota State University, who guided Dallas Goddard to becoming a second-round pick of the Philadelphia Eagles. Coach, thank you very much for joining us here on Eagles Draft Central, presented by Deaton Watson.